Hello guys, uh, welcome to Vibrant Space. Today I'm going to show you how you can keep your shell prompt, uh, your shell prompt, all the same in different shells or breaking systems. Yeah, we we are going to use a Starship, which is a cross shell prompt that is amazing, definitely amazing. Uh, first, you have to download it. Uh, to download it, you can grab the binary on their GitHub repo on release section. <coughs> oh well, because I do have a scope installed, which is a package manager I've been using, I'm going to use it. Uh, for the case you're going to install binary, you can grab one of these. This one uh, to install it, but I'm going to use scope to install it. So you can use WinGet, which is a built in package manager for Windows. Install Starship after install, installing Starship. Let's start customizing our prompt. Uh, well, CMD is a special case, we cannot customize it right away. We have to use Selink which combines uh, CMD with uh, powerful command line editing features of the GNU read line libraries. Uh, first, you have to install it. You can use Google download the release, the, the binary on the other page on GitHub. Again, all the same, you can download this one. I'm going to use scope. Just for sake of demonstration I'll be installing it done uh, let me just start select uh, well, selling by itself it's a wonderful tool you see it auto completes uh, on your CMD a CMD shell. Uh, now let's get back to our Starship, which is the focus. Uh, for for to install Starship, we have to create this file. Let's create this file. Create this file. Open it. Open it. After opening, open it. Let's add this here. Now, oh, sorry. Save. Now it's done. Starship is on your system now. If you not sorry. Uh, CMD. Uh, here is Starlink with C Link is working, uh, but uh, let's customize the prompt. I do have a prompt uh, of my own which I use in all my operating systems on my dot files. While that is loading, uh, we, we, we can Customize, for example, uh, on my arch box. Uh, this is ZSH. We could customize ZSH, but uh, let's first to install on Arch Linux. Uh, do sudo pacman as I'm just you it just as to install it because I do have it I'm just I'm just showing you that it's available on the official repository Starship not start is installed 5.16 uh, well, this loaded. Let's grab the
the configuration let me copy it uh, well to configure starship let's see here you must create a toml file on your config directory uh, you can create that using uh, the command line if you do not have the folder or we're using explorer but i don't have that that directory so i'm going to create just the just the what is this the file uh, let me see the into that di directory create this starship i think i have touch here starship yeah you can open this and vim starship copy this this is my configuration past yeah we done if you open not bash cmd sorry here is this is my configuration i use in all my systems it's the same it's the same here on arch for example starship installed let me we have let, let's go back uh, here let's choose bash bash on your the bash resource you add that line I do not have that file fortunately let me add this Uh, yeah you see it's done it's working that's because what uh, I do have a starship configuration that I use with fish let me but let me just add the same way let me just add the same way, same configuration. Let me just copy this and paste, paste here. Ah, oh, you see? On time, it just changed. Hot reload. You see the difference? The difference. This is how you can do it. Add, you can add also for PowerShell. Let me go back. PowerShell. On your profile. In PowerShell. You just open the file. Open the file. Because it says it's this way is this file you are these and uh, you save ah unfortunately yeah impossible There is no that this directory does not exist. Let me just see documents in your PowerShell. Let me just create the structure on hand. Go inside, and then we could create this. We could create this. already 
stone. Let me just cope again. It's done. If you open again our shell, because we've uh, we using the same configuration where is our shell. Uh, again, you see, doesn't matter our shell or our shell or CMD is all the same. They look the same because it's the same configuration. The same configuration you see. Bash and fish. You can do it with fish or any shell. So that's how you can you maintain the same configuration across different shells, different uh, different uh, operating systems for example for example fish you see because i've added the, the starship on fish it gets the same configuration that's why it's, it doesn't matter which shell if it's bash fish just ZSH which is different because I'm using part 10k but that's all see ya guys